Hello and welcome to your reading. Welcome to your reading where we're going to look at what's going on with you over the next 72 hours. These readings are timeless. So whenever you're watching, um, it will be for the next 72 hours. And if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Astaria Dream and I am a psychic intuitive. And let's jump right in. Okay, so let's get uh let's get three cards. Okay, did three just jump out together? <laughs> Two. Okay. Queen of Wands. Seven of Wands. Okay, so starting out with some fiery energy. I'm going to take these as one placement, actually. So let's get two more. Okay. There's one. Five of Cups. Let's bring these down a little bit. Okay, and let's get one more. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, so nine of cups. Okay, all right. I actually like this. So, um, <clears throat> let's this up here for a second. This reading, okay, so the next 72 hours, a lot of things happen for anybody. However, this reading is going to be all about you, right? Because I was looking at the cards while I was waiting for this last one to jump out. And you see how busy this is? It, there's like so much going on. that I was like, whoa, it's almost kind of making me sick. Not physically sick, but it's just like uh, my head was kind of spinning. So it, you're, it doesn't mean that you're in that state. It just means you have a lot going on. And if you notice that these two came out together, right? So we've got two lions here on either side of her. And to me, what I was focusing on was balance. So we all have a masculine and feminine energy within us. Um, and here you are, and it needs to be balanced. So that's what I kind of think of what's going on. So again, these are general. So whatever this is out of balance, you have a lot going on. It could be all work, 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 and there's no fun. Or you could be all um, just really in me the mental fields, like planning and preparing and doing a lot of stuff and your emotional needs aren't being met. Or maybe you're wanting some more romance, but you're, you're not connecting on that plane, whatever it is, or you, you're spending all your time with your kids and you just need that adult night out, right? Some take that part as it resonates for your particular life. However, something, there's a lot going on, very busy, busy, busy energy. And it's also making your energy like this, right? It's a little chaotic because things are out of alignment, right? So, um, ah, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed that there's like animals at the bottom of this deck. I know I own the deck. I don't know that, right? Uh, if you guys are new, I have like over a hundred decks and I just got even three more today or this week. So I've only used this deck, like, I don't know, three, maybe four times. So I haven't even seen all the cards. Okay. So I was focused on the black cat, right? So that's what I was kind of, okay. So that to me is telling me your divine feminine energy and your independence. And that might be screaming for you to put more attention to. This might not be for all of you. However, for those that consider themselves an empath, what I'm feeling with this is protect your energy because you have a lot going on. Um, and it's almost like shielding it from the fire because there are energy vampires are real, right? So you do need to protect yourself. However, I, that, that's not going to resonate with all of you guys. Work was coming in here, but it, bottom line is it general message is busy energy. It's a time for balance. Okay. It's also a time for not just balancing out your energy, whether it's mental, um, emotional, physical, and spiritual, or it's just like something more 3d where it's like work, home, family, friends, love life, something of one of those, something in there is out of balance, right? The other thing I'm really focusing on self-care, right? With the lines is what I'm thinking, especially with the nine of cups here. Okay. So, um, there, there might be a little bit lack of self-care and it might be just because you're busy a lot right now, you know, and see so a lot going on. And maybe some of you are even looking for some guidance at the moment. However, this is like very courage energy and reminding you um, to come from your heart. But I really am focused when I'm hearing that on the heart of self-care, right? So nine of cups um, and tarot is wish fulfillment. However, it's, it's you being the wish to yourself. She's got her hand out, right? And I think that there's so much going out. There's so many offers or so 
many opportunities. She really just needs to focus on one. And what I'm kind of feeling with this is you're the one, right? What's in between the two lions? It's you. So no matter if you're all fire or you're all water, oh, look at that, right? We've got the fire and the water energies. You need to find the balance to bring them together. You can't be all hot and then cold. Then yes, then no. You, can, you have to find the middle path, right? Okay. I'm also really focused on the red hair, and that might also go with the fiery energy. Um, red is passion. Red could also be grounding. Red can be love. So if, with the fire on the end, it really is almost like balance out that fiery passion you have within. Or, ooh, you know what it could be? Because I was kind of picking up on Kundalini in the beginning. I'm like, well, not everybody's going to relate with that. However, because remember when I was saying the masculine and feminine is on both sides? I was like, it's like your Kundalini energy is right in the middle. And I was like picking up on this fiery energy there. Even though this is a water card, even though this is emotions, like that's what I'm just feeling, you know? So I have to relate the message with the cards. So that really could be balancing out your kundalini energy. So now, like I said, not all of you are going to relate with that. So for some of you that do, maybe it's getting into kundalini yoga, or it doesn't even have to be anything with kundalini. It literally could be just, I'm hearing breath work, but some kind of spiritual practice. Because again, what was I saying with this? Self-care, right? So it's focusing on self-care. So let me ask you this. Here's the sum of the whole reading. What are you doing for yourself today? Now, I know this is over 72 hours, but I literally want you to focus on this for the next 72 hours. It really should be your mantra going forward on a daily basis. However, especially this next three days, you could do it three weeks after that. You could 21 days, right? Uh, make or break any habits. You could even do it three months. But I really think putting the focus back on you and what you need and what you deserve is going to be your key to success, right? Ooh, five of cups, right? Because tomorrow's like hot, cold, yes or no. That's the five of cups. It's glass glass half full glass half empty i don't know which way i'm going because it's sometimes this is sometimes that it's two sides of the coin right so really the center of the whole reading like what i was just trying to say is self-care so um yeah, sorry i got a little off on with there's so much going on however it's it's all good right so um, really the mantra is bringing it back to you. What do I need today? So literally if you can just plan your day, even if you have to get up like a little bit earlier than normal, because I know with some of have lives, we have work, some of have kids, and it's hard to like, how do I give myself an hour every morning? I've got kids running around, right? So sometimes it's just waking up even 15 minutes earlier and going for a quiet walk or reading a book or doing a meditation or doing some breath work or just getting in a quick yoga session or something that can give yourself that 15 minutes. Maybe even it's just journaling. Maybe it's taking, you can even do it before bed like taking a bubble bath right connect with nature maybe go out and garden and water the flowers in the morning listen there's plenty of self-care things right it could literally be for the females out there painting your nails or taking a spa day even for the males you can go get a massage like the, there's nothing you know even males get their their manicures done right it doesn't matter okay so but it's just what kind of self-care do you need today maybe it's all work 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 all this mental energy and you just need to let loose and go have some fun like if you're an adrenaline junkie go uh well it's summer here but again when you're watching it it's wherever it could be like go to the amusement park or like uh get on a jet ski or in the winter get on a snowmobile or do something to get that adrenaline rush in to like release some stress or it could just be you know go for a run okay there's a bunch of ideas i'm throwing out here i'm not picking those up on the reading i just want to give you guys some guidance because if you have a bunch of steam you need to let off it could be boxing or kickboxing or running or an adrenaline because maybe you're not in adrenaline you're like hey i'm not ready to just go jump out of a plane because i need to let off some steam but hey go for a run around the block or like kickboxing class or something right whatever it is to let that off or if you're not into you don't need that physical stuff again like a simple walk around the block go out and smell the roses water the garden something find a self-care practice for you give yourself i mean i would try to say an hour every morning to start your day and like i just said i know we all have lives and we're busy if you can't just give yourself at least 15 minutes and then try to do it again at night before you go to bed even if you can only give yourself 15 minutes in the morning give yourself 15 minutes at night or maybe at the evening you can give yourself that hour if you can't give it to yourself in the morning but self-care at the center of the whole spread what am i getting at it's all about self-care what are you doing for you because you know you're in alignment sometimes and then you're not and then you are and you're not uh, however, you know, that's still very general, but with all this coming of self-care, it's focusing, pull yourself out of this, balance your energies, your masculine and feminine, get your kundalini energy in alignment. Listen, we all have kundalini energy. You want to call it, um, 
you want you want to call your chi, your ki, your your whatever, your your prana. Your, it's it's just your life force energy. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but again, it's just balancing out the masculine and feminines. Self care is your main focus. So again, ask yourself today, ask yourself tomorrow, ask yourself the day after three days in a row. I want you to do this for yourself. What do I need today? Okay, maybe you need patience. Maybe you need love. Maybe you need understanding. Maybe you need a quiet time. Okay, whatever it is, like put yourself first. These next three days need to be about you. I feel like I need to ask you, when was the last time somebody checked in with you and asked you, how are you doing? Right? And for some of you, you might have that from other people coming around, but it really needs to come from you. And that's that heart center energy I was also kind of picking up on. Make sure you're putting yourself first, not putting everybody else first, because it's getting back yourself in alignment with yourself. And then literally after you're in alignment with yourself, the world is your oyster and you can manifest anything and create any life that you want. But you have to make sure you're okay first okay what do they tell you when they get on a plane put your mask on first before you put your child's mask on so the next three days take care of you honestly i know i did this as three days however i would like you to keep doing this going forward don't just have it be a three-day thing and then the rest of the days of the week or the month or the year it's like everybody else right but i think even just giving yourself a break for three days some of you could even like plan a um weekend getaway even if it's just like a family trip but maybe that's what you need to get away from the hectic life and the normal routines and even if you're out with your family and stuff it's gonna relax so whatever it is ask yourself what do i need and give yourself three days and even if it's not the next 72 hours you might have to plan it right because if you have so much going on like i don't even know how chaotic that card was i know i've seen it in here but like i said i don't use this deck that often but i was like whoa that's a lot of craziness right so it's for some of you might actually have to plan these three days out if especially if you're going to do like a weekend getaway you're gonna be okay i'll focus on myself this weekend i'll give myself my bubble bath and i'll go for a walk around the block and i'll spend some time uh with my kids or nature something fun creative right and you could just do one little project a day but you're like hey that's not enough i need to make sure next weekend i go on this family getaway like let's drive up somewhere and go to something fun and so that could be the planning thing but again dude like why ask why, why not do it every day ask yourself what do i need today and put yourself first and then once you put yourself first secret of the universe everything else will fall in alignment your career will fall in alignment your money will fall in alignment your love life your friends your support like everything else is like at your fingertips so how do you get there put yourself first focus on your self-care okay all right but you need to at least give yourself three days okay guys all right all right guys we will wrap up your reading right there you guys got anything out of this reading do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button this way i know you got something and it resonated okay and if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and there's a little bell right next to it you want to hit that bell and turn on all notifications because i do daily videos and i don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages that next message just might be the message that you need to hear today okay guys thank you so much for watching be blessed